A man who spent nearly two decades behind bars is finally free tonight. A judge today vacated his murder conviction. And as CBS 2's Dick Brennan reports, prosecutors say that there were a series of major mistakes since day one. Where does Sheldon Thomas go to get his 19 years back? 19 years in prison for a murder he didn't commit. Incredibly, in court today, the 35-year-old showed no bitterness to the people who ruined his life. I forget him. Just like I've made mistakes my, my life, and people have forgiven me, and people have shown mercy on me. I will do the same. The case against Thomas was botched from the beginning. He was arrested for the 2004 killing of a 14 year old, Anderson Bercy, in East Flatbush, based on identification of a photo array that included a different man, also named Sheldon Thomas. Investigators were aware of the mistake, but still went ahead. There's still a 14 year old boy who lost his life in December of 2004. Um, so, no winners, but there were a lot of lessons that I think we learned from this case. In recent years, we've seen a lot of convictions overturned, leading to people being freed from prison, but then they face a new set of challenges. Make no mistake, I mean, I wouldn't want to wish this on anyone. I first met Fernando Bermudez in a prison in 1997, proclaiming his innocence of murder. In 2009, a judge would agree and release him after 18 years, but prison has a way of staying with you. I realized it early on that I had post-traumatic stress disorder, and 13 years later, I still need mental health help. Bermuda says Sheldon Thomas and others like him will also need to be wary of people who want things from you. I've encountered people who actually even try to take advantage of an exoneree just because he's been to prison and they feel that he's not experienced and therefore wouldn't know how to manage money. Bermudez has a family now, is an accomplished artist, and even writing a book. As for Sheldon Thomas, he'll take freedom one step at a time. Right now, he says he just looks forward to his first hot meal outside of prison. In Flatbush, Dick Brennan, CBS 2 News.